you've had a chance to paddle the Frontier or perhaps just watch the videos, you'll know it's a very stable boat that attracts well, is very maneuverable, and moves really nice through the water. I've got two boats here where you can see the hole, and I'm going to kind of talk through it with you and show you, just tell you about the design and just how come it works as it does. To make it real stable, we have a very wide bottom. It's about 32 inches wide in the center of the boat on the bottom, and that's very flat. That gives it great initial stability so the boat doesn't wobble side to side. The hard chines over here, where it really drops off and you have this defined angle, that gives it great secondary stability. So even if you do lean to the side, the boat is not inclined to turn over, to roll, or to dump you out. So you've got great stability and you can really stand up and fish, you can kick back and relax, you can use the 360 seats, just be real comfortable out on the water. For tracking, we have two deep tracking channels going through the middle of the boat. These are about two and a half inches deep in the middle. Outside of that, we have two secondary channels that are about an inch deep. And in the stern area, we have this skeg that extends kind of beneath the level of the hull, gets down into undisturbed water, and really helps the boat keep a straight line. So with these features, whether you're paddling across a lake on a calm day or out in a bay on a real windy, choppy day, you're going to go straight, you're not going to have to correct very much, and you're just going to really dictate to the boat where you're going. Now often tracking and maneuverability don't really go hand in hand, but with the Frontier they do. And the reason for that is the overall shape of the boat. Being very, you know, coming to a point at the bow, then rounding off and having a long, wide center, and then again rounding off down towards the stern, that makes the boat turn really well. And with the tracking channels going into the boat, that doesn't affect it when it's going side to side. So if you're paddling straight and you want to turn just a backstroke, a forward stroke, and you're going to turn real sharp. If you're going in a more you know, tight, tight area and you're navigating through some obstacles, you're going to be able to do that really well also. Now the Frontier paddles and moves through the water very well also. You know, sometimes with a big wide boat like this, you think, well, that's not going to paddle well. It's going to be a tank in the water. But the Frontier really is, and it really moves nice. The overall shape of the boat is such that the widest part is well behind the middle of the boat. That makes a narrower angle of entry into the water and helps it move easier. And on the stern area, we have the real sharp release onto the wide transom, again, reducing the drag. So with these things and the flat bottom, the boat glides really well across the water. So now you kind of have an idea of just how the Frontier works, why it's such a stable boat, why it tracks so well and is very maneuverable, and just really easy and comfortable to use out on the water.